Ooh. Welcome, man. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Real quick. Real quick. Hey, that's a nice one. Oh, uh, it's like a 2016, though. Dodge Ram 1500. I know y'all saw the emblem. It has a Hemi in it. A V8 Hemi engine in it. With... Now see this, this is a rotary shifter, so it's likely a eight-speed rear-wheel drive ZF version transmission. In fact, that's why they in, guys. They want to get a transmission service. Let me see something. Oh, only 92,000 miles. Yes. Okay. Well, guys, um, what I tend to do, or what I like to do, because this is an electronic transmission, guys, I'm a big fan of scanning this thing first and then go driving it. Now, then, just it's just for maintenance. This is one of those customer to come in and say this is what i want okay so they're not in for diagnosing or anything like that in fact i'm really pressed for time so i think i will bypass the test drive until after i'm done all right so i'm gonna go straight into the shop guys uh hp zia version transmission service guys nothing to it we talk about this all the time in fact my buddy p gavin uh coyote um just did his and according i think that's what he said oh yes he ran into a little problem with the boat so guys uh, i'm gonna be extra careful removing the transmission pan okay and i highly suggest you do as far as installing it guys uh there is a torque specs okay now a lot of people will use a speed drill but <laughs> you might want to turn your speed drill down because if it exceeds the torque specs specification uh one boat could snap okay so I am very careful when I'm taking that pen out. Now, while we're on that topic, guys, there is nothing, there's absolutely nothing wrong with servicing a ZF eight speed rear wheel drive transmission. I know some manufacturer will tell you it's feel for life. Uh, no, guys, this, this truck is closing in on 100,000 miles. This is perfect timing to get this done. However, I am against you doing that while you're under warranty because uh, if anything go wrong and they find out you have changed the fluid or even serviced it or whatever, uh, there's a potential chance that they can decline your warranty repair. Okay, so if you're under warranty, I'm against it. But if you're out of warranty, hey, you have every right to try to prolong the life of your transmission. And that's exactly what you would be doing by servicing your transmission. Okay, so I'm about to go in the shop, guys. What I'm going to do right quick, take a break. When I get back... We're gonna go over some parts that you will need to perform this transmission service. Not a flush, not a drain and refill, but a service, transmission service is what they call. All right, stay tuned. So, righty guys, here we are. Uh, transmission service for this vehicle will include, all right guys, this is Mopar, okay? I don't know how the aftermarket uh, setup goes, but I get a bag of bolts, okay? I don't know why these are replaceable, okay? If you didn't have them, guys, you could reuse the old ones. But I get a pan, uh, a complete transmission pan. The reason why, guys, is because the transmission filter is integrated into the pan, okay? You will not be performing a transmission service if you're not replacing the filter, right? It would be called something else, possibly a drain and refill. Okay, this pan here happens to have a drain plug. The last one I did didn't have a drain plug on it. So yeah, I'm getting ready to remove the pan and totally dispose of the pan. It is no longer needed or can be used because this is my number one goal to replace this filter. What I want to do to think behind that is to get all the trash that the trans may have accumulated out of circulation, out of the transmission. Okay, so this is the part. Oh, guys, no need for RTV. It's got the gasket built onto it. All right, now fluid. This is the fluid I will be using, guys. 8, 9 speed ATF, all right? ZF approved transmission, DILA approved transmission fluid. I know the last one I did, I used Valvoline, okay? Uh, obviously, we sell different types of transmission service or drain and refill. Okay, uh, this is six. So they gave me nine. So that's a chance I may need it all, chance I may not. Depends on what comes out, okay? I'm dropping the pan, so a lot more should come out as opposed to me doing a drain and refill using the plug. But I would drain it off first. And I'm a big fan of measuring how much come out before I go back in, especially on a drain and refill. But because it's a service, 
you still need to perform the refill process accordingly all right guys so i got work to do let me get this truck on the rack and uh get going guys stay tuned oh righty guys here we are oh man oh i'm faced with a little dilemma guys i will not be able to drain this uh simply because the exhaust is in the way okay now i can have a get the boats out oh look at the clearance it's not much that much clearance between so i'm only gonna have just a little space i might have to jack loosen the amounts and jack up on the transmission but at any rate it's got to come off <laughs> so my original plan is not going to work i'm not going to be able to monitor how much come out so we have we really gonna have to follow the refill process because of that which i don't mind it's just i like to know exactly what i'm what came out so i can try to go in exactly with exactly what came out so what do y'all think t30 okay guys let me go grab some tools and we gotta get this pan off all right stay tuned all right guys oh i have to improvise to get this boat out right here so what i did was simply took me uh t40 these are t40 bits and put in my little uh handle so that way i can get under here Yes, sometimes you have to improvise. You know, I mean? you don't want to have to drop the exhaust unless you really have to. I still don't know how much clearance I'm gonna have when it's time to drop the pan. But I, I was, however, able to get it out using this special tool. Uh, just a bit inside of a handle, quarter inch handle, all right? Let's finish up, let's get this pan off. Here it goes guys, so I have no way to monitor how much coming out, so you will have to It's all about temperature guys when you're trying to feel these things out going through all the gears matching a certain temperature um, That will be found in the manual and um, Perform your field procedure properly guys. I can't overly stress that all right, so I Will complete this. I'm gonna let this drain get this pan off and we'll continue stay tuned all right guys we got all the boots out let's see will we be able to slide this uh-oh should be fine yes slid right through guys there you have it all right now let's take a look at uh Here's one of the magnets right here. That's how much debris is captured on these magnets. Not much at all, guys. As uh, you can see, the filter is actually doing its job. Okay, uh, guys, over time, clutches will break down. Okay, there ain't no way around that. Okay, that's inevitable, right? The filter's job is to capture the trash before it recirculates back through the transmission. That's why it's recommended to replace your filter every so often. All right, now I'm going in with a new pan and a new filter, so we start all over again. But what has come apart in 90,000 miles just was going to come apart anyway. Okay, so all we're doing is helping to prolong the life of the transmission. Okay, there's no bulletproof way to make your transmission last forever. Everything has a lifespan to it, guys. So this is right where it's supposed to be. It's in the trash. Okay, this is trash. I'm done with this pan. I am now about to to go in with a new pan all right it's a little o-ring right here guys just lube it up a little bit with the current fluid and uh just grab it grab your boats and go with it all right guys so i'm not gonna feel installation it's just a matter of reversing the removal process okay same way you was able to finagle it out of here the same way you go back in with it all right so stay tuned Alrighty guys, I'm back. Guys, remember this? My purchase I made on this. Uh, I'm using it as a transmission uh, fluid uh, exchanger. Okay, but that is something you need right now to refill this ZF 8-speed transmission up. Alright, I got the 
refill plug loose I'm gonna take it off now this tool is neat guys and it's very much needed because we don't have one right now ours is down so in fact go watch this video right here where I went and purchased it you'll get to see why I purchased it and why I needed it okay so here's my setup I got brand new ATF 8 9 speed fluid set it's gonna this machine is gonna suck the fluid out of here I'm gonna place my field tube inside the transmission so I will basically be trans transferring fluid from the jug to the transmission okay until it comes out and once it comes out that's when I'm supposed to proceed with the with the refill process okay guys I do not have that process memorized so I'm gonna do a separate video on how to properly refill the eight speed rear wheel drive ZF transmission so stay tuned for that video but for now I have to get through this so let me insert this and turn my pump on and we're set to go guys I will see y'all on the next video sit up it's pulling it out of there going through there going through there going there all right guys hang tight stay tuned I'll be right back alrighty guys I am just about done yes it's the last phase okay I verified oh, of course I'm at the right temperature uh, you're supposed to leave it running at the very last phase and uh, top it off until it comes out it's running now it came out so I have went through all my gears guys remember it's about temperature and uh, making the fluid go through all the gears actually I mean they can word it as differently and as sophisticated as they, as they like to but uh, when you boil it all down it's about temperature and the fluid going through all the gears okay now keep in mind guys when you get ready to when you have the car they say go eight feet off the ground or eight feet off the ground no eight inches off the ground maybe okay get the vehicle off the ground uh, put it in gear and try to go to second gear now keep in mind guys you might have to push the traction control off doing that procedure because you're going to have lights and if you have no way to turn lights off you're going to be doomed so <laughs> try to minimize the lights that's going to come on anyway all right i have a scan too i can erase any erroneous fault codes but yeah uh, i tend to go behind this is just typical brake cleaner i want to clean up all i don't want no mess uh, this turned out good guys now last but not least now this is all me i'm not sure this is required but i'm a big fan of this I will verify that the transmission is up to date guys it's an electronic transmission in fact the TCM to this transmission is inside of here inside the valve body <laughs> that's right uh, surrounded by all that fluid guys is a module go figure all right that's how sophisticated we have become <laughs> when it comes to transmissions and engines all right so I will hook this car up to my scan to and verify it if it is not I will update it pretty much most all the updates are pertaining to shift improvements okay what better time to verify that your car has the latest and greatest uh, software than doing an actual transmission service all right so that's what I'm gonna do again that's on me I'm not sure that's required but I'm a big fan of that so if it comes to me it's gonna get done whether I'm gonna get paid for it or not I just it's a conscious thing for me guys I'm just that kind of way I'm just that way I'm sorry but all right, I'm going to make sure that's up to date and I'm going to go test drive. And I'm done, guys. I have to end this video right now. I'm just telling you guys what I'm about to do. All right, guys, here we go. Like I say, this is a 2016 Ram 1500. And as you can see, oh, a lot of yellow, guys. Now, let's look in the all DTC. I want to point something out to you guys on how and why not to panic. Y'all see all these codes, uh, PCM, ABS, ORC. All these codes were generated because <laughs> I was rolling the wheels uh, with the car off the ground you see these uh this is an implausible left front wheel speed sensor okay that was erroneously set by me performing the transmission refill process okay so these mean nothing guys if you didn't have these before and you have them now right after you do a transmission refill okay uh just erase them they mean absolutely nothing in fact uh now this one could have been set before okay uh door module internal missing this just missing the calibration guys i'll show you procedure on how to calibrate that window uh, i'll cover that in another video all right but for now i want to clear all these dtcs and we're going to go back to 
the whole point of me logging in in the first place. And that is because of this. You see this lightning bolt inside this box called a TCM. TCM stands for Transmission Control Module, guys. Yes, there is a lightning bolt there, which means there is a flash update. And I can almost bet, yes, flash, Transmission Control Module, TCM update. Let's click that and see what I will be updating. All right, yes. This applies to the very same vehicle I'm working on, 2016 Dodge Ram 1500. Let's scroll down. When I flash this, uh, let's read the symptoms condition. Customer may experience a malfunction illumination. Upon further investigation, the technician may find these trouble codes. Now, I didn't have any trouble codes, okay? But that will, this flash will repair this erroneously setting this code hypothetically if I had this code, okay? But I'm more interested in these down here. In addition, Y'all get that? In addition, the following software enhancements are also available. Okay, guys. So by way of me flashing this TCM, I will correct or enhance a 2-1 coast downshift improvement, a 3-2 coast downshift improvement, improvements to the 5-3 downshift, a lot of updates, guys. That is why I'm a big firm believer in making sure this TCM is up to date. So uh, what I'm going to do is simple. Uh, flash update it. All right. And uh, we're going to go from there, guys. Uh, I'm not going to film the rest of this. I just want you guys to be aware of what I'm doing and why I'm doing what I'm doing. So for now, this take like five minutes. I will not bore you guys. So after this procedure is done, guys, I will test drive the car. And that will be a wrap. Okay? That's all I have. Thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe. I'll see y'all in the next video.